When you're just getting started with HubSpot, chances are that you're using the Marketing Starter Hub. And well, these days you want to use some automations and it might be a little bit difficult with Starter, but it's definitely not impossible. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use automations within HubSpot's Marketing Hub Starter. I'm Jasper and welcome to HubSpot Excellence. We'll get right into it. The first part that I want to show you is how you can use automations based on forms. And this is something that works in the Marketing Hub Starter. So if we go to the sidebar to marketing and then forms, you can see that I have a couple of forms already here. And let's say we want to go to the more information form. I'm gonna edit this form. You can see that I already had some uh, properties here, so that's all fine. You can set this up however you like. And then we're gonna go to the automation tab. And this is something like right now in this demo environment, um, it's not just the starter, but this is also available within the starter. And the features that I'm gonna show you are also available within a Marketing Hub starter. So one of the things that you can do here is create a simple workflow. So you click on create new workflow, and then you will see this action, a contact submitted a form. When we click this, we get this simple view for a workflow. You can see when a contact submits the more information form, then we can add steps. You're limited to 10 steps, but that still gives you a decent amount of options to work with here. So when we click on the plus sign, you're getting some options here that we can use as actions based on when somebody submits that form. Something that you typically want to do is you want to send them an email, either just an email confirming that they submitted the form and that we have received their form submission, but you can also create a lead nurturing flow based on this. So let's say um, I just have like two automated emails set up right now. You can create more than just two within your HubSpot uh, marketing up starter. I'll just select one here and then I'm going to save this. And now we can see this email will be sent immediately when somebody submits a form. But that's not just that. So we can now add a delay and say that we want to um, wait for let's say two days and then we want another action. So you can do another email at that point. So let's say we, were, we want to send a second email after two days. So they will get that email and you can build this out until you have used your 10 steps. Another option that I use quite often when somebody submits a form, there's basically two of them that are really interesting. So the first one is if we go to CRM and then create a task. So this is something you can also do within Starter and you can assign a task to someone. So follow up with, and then I like to use the first name and last name here, just to have the task clear, like have the, the task name clearly stated basically. Then this is a to-do, so we can also make this an email if you want. So that means that when somebody opens that task, they will immediately have the option to start typing their email. Let's say we want to do this within one business day. Also want to make sure I send an email reminder because the person I'm gonna assign this to doesn't always look at their notifications. And then you even have the option to add some notes to this task in which you can also use these variables, but I'll spare you that for now. So then we can assign this task. So we can choose either we assign the task to a specific existing contact owner or we assign it to a specific user and I'll just assign it to myself right now. Actually, I to look at my notifications because, well, I'm, I'm a HubSpot consultant, so I need to. But let's say in the case that your user doesn't at all always do that, it's always good to have that email reminder there. And these are some of my favorite options that you can set up within a Marketing Hub starter for the forms. Now let's go to the second one, and that is adding contacts to a list when they click on a link in an email, in a marketing email that is. Well, first of all, before I go there, make sure to turn that workflow on and then also uh, save your form afterwards because otherwise uh, your automation will not work. But let's go to our emails now. Well, actually we first need a static list to add these people to. So let's go to CRM and lists, then create a list. It's gonna be a contact list. We'll name this, and or I'll just say email A, but you would like, you would want to mention the specific email. And then we'll just save this and it will automatically say to save this as a static list since we didn't set up any filters. So now that we have this set up, then we go to our email and 
let's just go to this email right here. This is not an automated one. And if we want to set up this automation here, and again, this is available within Marketing Hub Starter, you can add a contact to a list based on when they click a link in this email. So we'll click on this. Then here you can see there's no list selected yet. So we just click here. We choose the list that we want to use here. We save that. Again, make sure that you save the workflow itself as well. Then review and send and you're all set. Simple as that. And everyone who will click on the link in the marketing email, in this specific marketing email, will be added to this list, which then is a list that you, for example, can provide to sales to do follow up. Or if the link in the email actually goes to a form, you can also create a second list saying that I want a list of everyone who is part of this list and did not submit that form that we're linking to. Because then you know who showed interest, but didn't really follow through on filling out that form, which is a really interesting list for your salespeople to follow up with. Now, before I go to the next step, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more HubSpot excellence, because it really helps out the channel. One last example that I want to show you for what you can do within Marketing Hub Starter is updating properties in the back end when somebody fills out a form. So when we go to marketing and forms, let's go back to our more information form. I'm going to edit this. So here we can see form is pretty straightforward. Um, but let's say we want to add some extra properties here based on the form that they filled out. But we already know based on the form what those properties should be. So we don't necessarily want to ask them for that information. Let's say, for example, if this was a form that specifically stated a certain property interest in the case you're a real estate agent. So now we just add this here. We can see property interest. And let's say this form was specifically shown on a page for a townhouse. So now we can just pre-select townhouse. So that property will be pre-selected. And then we just make this field hidden. So now this information will be updated for the contact who fills out the form. And they don't have to look at this property or they don't have to fill it out themselves. And you can do this for multiple properties. So let's say um, you know which country they're in based on the form or even a more interesting one would be the language because based on the page where they fill it out, like if this is an, an English form and it's on the English version of your website, you can just set the language to English here in this case. So that information would be updated as well then. So we just select this, make this field hidden again, and that's it. So now whenever somebody fills out this form, their properties for the property interest and the preferred language will also automatically be updated when they submit this form. Now I also quickly want to talk about three great examples of automations that you can use when you would upgrade to professional, because at a certain point, this really would provide you with a great return on investment because it just would save you a lot of time and there are a lot of things that you wouldn't need to check manually. So for example, we talked about how you can create a lead nurturing flow within HubSpot's Starter Hub, but this is quite a basic workflow. And that's also like, as I showed you, it is basic. It's just a straight workflow. The thing with professional is we can create different branches. So for example, we can say that based on if somebody opens that first email, we want to either send them a reminder for that first email or we move forward to the second email. Another thing we can do is, let's say the main call to action that we have for that email workflow is to book a demo with us. As soon as somebody books that demo, we can automatically stop that workflow so that they don't receive any additional emails which is also a more advanced automation that you can set up. So you can use different actions that somebody takes while they're in the lead nurturing flow to optimize that flow specifically for that contact which is incredibly powerful. It's intelligent, it's personalized, and it moves people closer to a conversion without any human involvement. The second automation that you can use within a Marketing Hub professional is lifecycle stage automation and lead scoring. So based on the different actions that contacts take with the different marketing materials that you have, you can actually set their lifecycle stage and you can 
automatically adapt their lead score, making it that you only hand off the right people to sales at the right time. Basically, you just convert your like messy pipeline of like all of these contacts that have interacted with your business into a very smart sales handoff machine. This is an incredibly powerful feature. And then last but not least, customer onboarding. For example, a workflow you can set up is when somebody becomes a customer, you automatically trigger an onboarding workflow that helps them get started with your business. So for example, if your business is a software tool, you can then create a workflow where you send them information, tutorials, frequently asked questions, opportunities to book onboarding sessions with your onboarding team. You can send all of that information automatically based on when somebody becomes a customer so that that's a completely handoff process that gives them the right automated information at the right time, but that can also alert your customer success team at the right time for that added personal touch. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you like this video, I'm sure you will also like this video right here which is my ultimate guide to HubSpot workflows. And this would be a great next step after watching this video because it will teach you what the more advanced automation features are within a marketing hub professional. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.